So my fiance and I just watched the movie Sound of Freedom that exposes mm -hmm. sex traffickers. And do you want to tell them what happened in the movie theater? All right, AMC, I don't know what's going on here, but first off, the AC was out like when we went to watch the movie and I'd seen someone else post something too that also saw it at an AMC and their AC was out. And like as soon as we walked into the theater, it was hot as heck. I the literally AC brought a sweatshirt out. and I was like sweating. And then we realized like, it took us a while to actually realize it, but they didn't turn the lights off. They literally had the lights they on. They kept the lights on the entire movie. Who does that? <laughs> like, they don't want you to see this movie. They were trying to make it like not enjoyable. No. Like they were trying to make it unenjoyable. What do they think? We're just going to be like, oh, the lights are on. We're going to leave. Like, no. Go watch Sound of Freedom in theaters now. They turned all the lights on during Sound of Freedom. Fire alarm goes off and people still watch the movie. They can't stop the truth. So I've been seeing all over TikTok that people are going to watch the movie The Sound of Freedom and these weird things are happening like random emergency evacuations, um, the air conditioning not working and having to leave the theater. And I thought, no, that's probably just something that's happening in other theaters and other places. So I took me and my daughters to go watch The Sound of Freedom today and about an hour and 20 minutes into the movie, we get a random emergency evacuation. None of the staff knows what's going on. The mall wasn't being evacuated, just the theater. All they did was refund us our money with no explanation. But I guess you can call me a conspiracy theorist. to see Sound of Freedom, and this happened. No one left until they played the movie. They tried to give us free tickets if we left. You guys, I just experienced a conspiracy theory like in person for the first time ever. So I just went to go see a noon showing of Sound of Freedom, which is the human trafficking movie by Jim Caviezel that's currently outperforming uh, Indiana Jones. But like, of course, studios and everything are trying to hush hush this movie and make it seem like not so many people are going to see it and they're not promoting it at all. And they're basically trying to make it seem like no one is going to see it. Um, theaters all over the country keep having really weird things happen when people go to see it, like AC not working, sound not working, lights not turning off. Um, and I was like super curious, so I came to see it, and the lights didn't turn off for the first 10 minutes. And also there was like a voiceover, like a narrator for blind people. And so I could like tell around me, like tons of people kept getting up to go complain. And then after about 15 minutes, someone came in and they turned the movie off. And they and they turned the movie off and um, someone came in and was like, we can't fix it, so you all have to leave. We're gonna give you free passes. And people were like, why this movie? I've never had this happen before. And they're like, we can't turn the speaker off because we'd have to go in a back room and like climb a ladder to turn the speaker off. And so basically like, we're gonna have to fix it. And they were like, well, it's been playing for quite a while. Why is this just happening now? And they had like no explanation. And so I'm just sitting out here finishing the drink that I bought because <laughs> I didn't get to see a movie. Um, and like people were kind of rumbling like oh I heard there's some shady stuff going on around this movie and now we're seeing it in person and I'm just like wow like why doesn't Hollywood want people to see this Jim Caviezel human trafficking movie why doesn't Hollywood want there to be awareness around human trafficking and pedophilia I'm 
flabbergasted. I mean, why wouldn't they want to? So, I don't know. I guess go see this while you can before they, you know, make it disappear forever or something. Isn't that nuts, though? Like, has anyone ever, ever experienced that in a movie before? I've never experienced anything like this in a movie except for one time I went to see Interstellar and, like, the film was messed up and so it had kind of, like, a weird line on the edge of the movie had like a weird line on the side that they couldn't remove and they came in, came in and they were like we'll give you all discounts but like you can still watch the movie and so we just watched the movie but it was like the picture was kind of messed up um so yeah I've never gotten like kicked out of a movie 15 minutes in especially not a movie with this you know far reaching implications ah! okay fun times bye